hi guys welcome to my kitchen guys guys i'm gonna cook i'm gonna do escobage fish i'm cooking dinner guys so i'm cooking parrot fish yeah these fish was washed washed with lime and vinegar and guys i'm gonna season them so i'm giving them two core guys two core and you you, you 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 don't have to go too deep you don't go too deep these are some nice pretty parrot fish and i'm giving them two core not too deep yeah so i wash them with lime and vinegar and i'm gonna dry them and i'm gonna season them guys the black pepper is making me sneeze it burned my nose and guys you have to go inside when you're drying it you have to make sure your towel is clean or if you have paper towel you can use it and you have to dry inside you have to dry inside of the fish. You have to go inside with the towel and dry it out. Whether you're using a clean kitchen towel or you're using a paper towel. So these are parrot fish. so guys I'm going to season them guys you don't have to put a lot of seasoning if you don't want to you can just put salt and black pepper but I have some fish seasoning JCS fish seasoning See my fish seasoning, JCS fish seasoning, Maggage fish seasoning. I have a ne next one called fish seasoning. It have a mixture of garlic, salt, parsley, and spice. And I have garlic powder in there. I have garlic pepper. I have black pepper, I have Maggi All Purpose Maggi Chicken Seasoning, a little bit of adobo, and a little seasoning salt. So that's what I have in here. But it's not a lot. It may look like a lot, but it's not a lot. So, guys, I'm going to season the fish. I'm going to season my parrot. And I said, I did mention I have black pepper in there, right? Yeah. So I'm cooking dinner, guys. I'm cooking escobich, parrot fish, and I'm cooking some pumpkin rice. So, guys. I think you can see it, guys. I'm putting the seasoning right down in here where I slice, not a deep slice. Yeah. We gotta season it. We gotta sprinkle some in the middle. I make sure some go in the head. Yeah. Okay. 
So the inside is seasoning and the split. See it guys? Nice pretty parrot. Happy Easter guys. Guys I don't um know is now is day where I am right now is daylight saving time. I know is five minutes after three. Five minutes after three. Right now. Where I'm at. Yeah. And I don't light every country have their own tradition guys i don't light fire on good friday until uh, about after one o'clock and as i said every country have their own tradition and that's how i grow that's how i grow up on good friday we don't chop wood we don't chop anything with cutlass and our knife. Anything we're going to do with knife, we do it from... It, and we're going to do it in the morning, we do it from overnight. Yeah? Are you wait till after 12? So, where I am, I don't use the standard time because standard time is man-made time. So, I wait... I, I, I use um I don't use daylight saving time because daylight saving time is man-made time I use standard time my time back home so guys this fishing season the parrot so what I do I wait until about one o'clock standard time I start cook if I'm gonna cook. If I'm gonna cook, I start cook. I start doing it. I'm do if I'm gonna cut anything, or if I'm gonna light this stove, I do it like after one o'clock. Cause that's how, how I was grow up. We don't cut anything. Good Friday morning. We don't hit bun and cheese. Good Friday morning. Until after 12 yeah as an, and as i said every country have their own tradition and everybody grow grow up different so i don't light fire on a good friday morning i don't um cut up anything or chop anything good friday morning i wait until if i'm gonna do that I wait until after one. Standard time. I use the standard time that I that I I grew up with that I used to. I don't use the daylight saving time with my tradition with anything tradition because daylight saving time is man made time. So guys, I'm going to cut up some onion and carrot, yeah, to make my, <coughs> Lord, guys, the pepper hot. The pepper is hot. <coughs> I'm going to cut them up and come back, guys.
so I'm going to cut these up, guys. I have country pepper, which is so hot, guys. It makes me cough. I have onion, carrot, sweet pepper. So I'm going to cut up some of these and come back. So guys, I was, as I was saying, bun and cheese, I don't eat it like after, until after one, standard time. And I don't eat, drink anything like wine or, or Coca-Cola, Pepsi, none of those things until after one. Yeah, this is how I was broke, guys. So, every country of their own tradition and different people do what different people do. Not because you're going, you're into another country. That no means so you're true with your tradition. So guys, my seasoning are finished cut up. See guys, I have my pepper, I have garlic, onion, red sweet pepper, yellow and green sweet pepper, thyme, and carrot. There it is, guys. So, I have some oil in the pot, guys. And I'm going to put some cilantro in there and some parsley. And my, my fish is soaking. I cover it with the plastic wrap. So guys, my oil is hot, and I'm gonna fry the fish. So guys, we're checking on the fish. <laughs> 
We're not turning it quite yet, guys. We want it to fry proper. Uh, this is fat. And, in, and, and she is fat. She has a, a good body. Good body cat, good body parrot. So we want her to fry good and proper. Miss Par Miss Parrot she we have to make sure that Miss Parrot she fry good and proper. So guys we're gonna turn Miss Parrot she Nice and pretty, yeah. Yeah. Good, good body. She have good, good body. Nice, clean, good, good body. Miss Parrot, she. So, guys. Miss Parrot, she ready? Yeah. See how they guys? Yeah. We have to hold her with the fat, guys. We don't want she to drop out on the floor. Okay guys, so I'm going to I'm gonna do the seasoning now guys. Yeah, and I'm doing it in the same oil. Let me fry the sparachi. Yeah, see the oil there guys. Yeah. So guys, I put the garlic first. And you're going to hear me cough again, guys, because the pepper, yeah, the pepper hot. So that's the garlic, yeah. And that's the pepper. Yeah. That's the onion. Oh, ham, ham. <laughs> and that's the, the carrot and the sweet pepper guys and the thyme and I'm gonna I just remember the fermenter seed guys I'm gonna take it out just remember the fermento seed always forgetting it So guys, this is it. I'm telling you guys, the pepper mud. I put the pimenta seed in there, guys. Obviously, getting it. putting some vinegar in there guys and I'm gonna tip a little water in there and guys you don't cover it you want it crunchy carrot onion everything sweet pepper you want it crunchy yeah in a little water in there and guys this is some of the seasoning from the fish I should have put it in there before I put the vinegar but that's okay nevertheless it's all good
It's all good, yeah. Guys, I almost forget my cilantro and my parsley. It's optional, but I want it in there. Yeah. I didn't put any ginger this time because I forget it, but nevertheless, it's all good, guys. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to look on our pumpkin rice. Guys, if you smell my kitchen, this hot pepper she make the kitchen so spicy guys see the pumpkin rice guys yeah is miss hot pepper she this you know guys and the stem come out me just whoops eh? it no run out in the pot yeah i'm gonna make it Hot that we can't eat it. See her there? Same pepper. Them bad like war. Yeah. It's them come out. So guys, this is a pumpkin rice. Yeah. Nice clean pumpkin rice. Tastes amazing, tastes awesome. Trust me, guys. I want it in my kitchen. See it there? Nice, clean, good, good pumpkin rice. me using air is not me using fryer guys it's my daughter using fryer that's ready guys and I'm gonna spoon some over guys this kitchen smells so spicy with miss hot pepper she man some of the juice guys on the fish yeah awesome nice yeah see guys take a picture guys take a picture And see we have some leaf guys guys I'm gonna put when this cool when this cool out I'm gonna put it into a bottle yeah I'm gonna put that into a bottle after it cool out so guys this is my finished dish from my kitchen to yours guys this is Pesco Beach fish with pumpkin rice Pesco Beach fish with pumpkin rice take a picture guys take a picture
Sorry about the noise where the fryer make, guys. My daughter using the fryer. So, this is my finished dish, guys. From my kitchen to yours, this is. Let's go beach fish with pumpkin rice. Yeah. See you there, guys. Thanks for watching me cooking my dinner, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Marva Most Blessed Jamaican Cooking. Share the video guys, like and share the video. And subscribe. Thank you. Bye.